In this session, you'll learn how to set up and configure some of the overall key settings to get ProCare going. We'll go to the configuration menu at the top and choose system. This is an area of ProCare you'll come frequently to do setup. And we'll begin in the section called locations and users. And we'll start out by going to the region and school section. You'll notice that there is a shield next to some of these items, items with a shield are only visible to people who are logged in at the system supervisor level. And if you look in the background here, you'll see that I, Betty Smith, am indeed logged in as a system supervisor. So we'll double click on regions and schools to open that section up. And next to the region, you'll see a little plus sign and we can see any schools that we've previously set up to manage. So although the name of the region itself is not that critical, Typically, the region is named for your geographic location. So in this case, it simply says my region. To change that, you can go to the edit button down at the bottom of the screen and type over that. And maybe we'll call the region here Southern Oregon. And you could put in your director's name if you had a director for the region or any other information you might have about this region. We filled in the rest of the information for our overall region. And we're back to the regions and school screen. So let's click the plus sign next to that again. So there are regional settings and there are school settings. If you need to change the name of a school, you can go to the edit button down at the bottom or change the contact information right there. There are also settings that we need to look at at the region level and some specific settings at the school level beyond just the name of the region or the name of the school. So we'll begin by selecting the name of the region at the top. And then we're going to go to the Set Options button down at the bottom. This allows us to configure some of the overall settings for the region as a whole. This would mean any settings that we might want to affect all schools within that region. So we want to look at our hours of operation. And this will be useful if both schools have the same hours. If not, these hours can be set at the individual school location. So let's say in my case, all my schools have the same hours and we just need to change one of them here by clicking the plus sign. And maybe we close earlier than that. I'll change that. And you could go through and change times for other days of the week if that were appropriate. So that's hours of operation. Another thing that is important to do is to go to the family data settings on the left and make sure the first day of week is set to Monday. In uh, most cases, you'll want that for things like roll call sheets and other types of reports that might depend on that day of the week. And if we scroll down a little bit, we will look at rounding options for the time clock. So if you are using a ProCare Touch computer or uh, your own computer to have parents check in and check out, you want to make sure the rounding is set the way you want it. You can click the plus sign to adjust that if you want to. By default, it's set to round to the closest 15 minute increment, but you can adjust those settings as needed. You'll also want to look at the employee data section. We'll say yes to save our changes. And in the employee data section, we'll want to make sure that we have our pay periods set up appropriately. So here I've got it set to pay every two weeks. And then I wanna make sure that my starting day of pay period makes sense. So I'm gonna start out with a pay period in 2018. And if I click on the pay period type at the top, it will give me a button at the bottom that says show pay periods. This way I can view and make sure that I've got my pay periods set up the way I wanted them to. So if that is the appropriate set of pay periods, so you can look through it and see is that how they line up. If that's not the way your pay periods were intended to line up, you can change that setting here and use the show button again until you get that set up for your particular location. You'll also want to look at how time cards are rounded for employees. This is similar to how it's set up for families. In this case, you can choose the rounding in and rounding out, and by default, it's set to the closest minute. So it'll round to the single closest minute, or you could round to five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes if you wanted to. So that's time card rounding. Those are the main options that you'll want to look at at the regional level. Let's go ahead and click Save and Exit. And then you will want to establish some settings at the school level. So these settings would be established uh, one at a time for each location. 
I'm going to go into the school settings here for school number one. I will, you can double click or you can go to the set options button at the bottom. It looks very similar to the screen we were on before, except in the upper left, you'll notice that it says school options rather than region options. And the main thing to set up here uh, would be to look at your email settings for that location. And this would be if you want to be able to email families, even send text messages through email to the families, or email things like customer statements. You'll want to set this up for your school. So you'd simply come down here and type in uh, your email address for the school. The email address that you would want to have is the sending from address. So maybe that's something like info at the name of your school. And then if you're using Outlook, you could say true for that. Uh, in many cases, people are using other email like Gmail or some other email that relies on what's called an SMTP server. So if you're using some other mail service like Gmail, you'll say true to the use SMTP settings. And then below that, you can click on the plus sign and put in the particular settings for your email service. In order to find out what those settings likely would be, you can go to the question mark in the upper right hand corner that will take you to the support articles that talk about the school option screen. One of those articles specifically talks about email settings. I filled out the email settings for my school, including my username and the password I use to log into that email account. Then once you click save, a test email button appears. It's a good idea to run this email test and that will confirm whether or not Procure is able to connect with your email provider and send an email. If you have any issues, the question mark in the upper right is a good place to go or to contact technical support. If you're using Gmail, you will be prompted to allow access for less secure apps. And if you search on the ProCare support site for the word Gmail, you'll come to an article that explains how to do so. The next setting you'll want to look at under school options is under family accounting. And there are a couple of things here. One is under the late payment calculator. You'll want to choose a default description for that. We would recommend late payment. If you just type it LA, it'll bring up descriptions that start with those letters and we'll pick late payment. And then it's also good if you have the agency accounting module to choose an agency payment description. We recommend payment by agency. If you just type in PM, the payment descriptions will come up. You can choose payment by agency. And then what would the charge description be if you ever need to transfer a fee from the agency to the parent? And we would choose transfer from agency. Just type TR and that choice will come up. So those are good options to make there. Go ahead and click save. And then you're ready to exit out of the school option screen. The last setting we'll want to look at, we'll exit one more screen, will be to come down under data management and we're going to go to miscellaneous and we want to load what are called the text messaging networks. This is a global setting, so this is only done once. Even if you have more than one location, you'll see the little globe next to it. So we'll double click on text messaging networks and it's asking if I want to download them. I'm going to say yes. And this will download all the text messaging networks that are available from ProCare. So these are all the carriers that your parents might use. This will allow you to be able to send text messages to them. So we'll go ahead and exit out of that. And that's all there is to setting up basic settings in ProCare's configuration.